well hello again so probably this will be my final video uh, for the day uh, and it will be another video of my segment uh, called the greatest anime series of all times and this time it will be the series that uh, series on a broader sense let's say on that way that ranks 18 on my top 20 uh, greatest anime series of all times and this uh, series I'm talking about is called uh, Captain Tsubasa or Flash Kicker as is also known and is a very uh, popular long-running uh, Japanese manga animation and video game series that was created originally by Yoichi Takahashi in 1981 uh, um, and basically it's a series like uh, probably you know about it uh, it's a, a series that is about sports mainly football or soccer for the ones that are watching on the United States um, and basically the manga, like I, I did say, it was re written by Yoishi Takahashi, uh, it was published by Shueisha, uh, ran in, did run in the Weekly Shonen Jam from 1981 until 1988, uh, having 37 volumes. Uh, then we have an um, anime series uh, that was directed by Isamu Imatake, uh, the studio that made the series was called Sushida Pro and the series aired in Animax and TV Tokyo and it ran from 10 of October of 1993 until 27 of March of 1996 having 128 episodes uh, we also have uh, several films or anime films uh, the first one was released in 30 of July of 1985, called Captain Tsubasa European Daikensen. Um, another one was released in 21 of December of 1985, also uh, directed again by Isamu I. Makake, that um, he was the director of all the movies or anime movies or anime films uh, related with Captain Tsubasa and the second one like I say was called Captain Tsubasa Ayushi Zen Nippon Jr. Uh, the third uh, anime film was called Captain Tsubasa Asuni Mukate Ashire uh, and was released in 15th of March of 1986. Uh, another one was called Captain Tsubasa Sekai Daikessen Junior World Cup and it was released in 12 of July of 1986 um, then we have a, OVA, a series of OVA uh, that were 13 OVAs called Shin Captain Tsubasa uh, that were released between July of 1989 until July of 1990 um, we also have a manga uh, called Captain Tsubasa World Youth that is written by Yoichi Takahashi uh, again it was published by Shueisha and by the magazine Weekly Shonen Jump and ran between 1994 until 1997 with 18 volumes uh, then we have another over called Oland Youth uh, that was released in 14 of October of 1994 and another television series uh, called Captain Tsubasa J uh, that was made by Studio Comet and aired in Animax and TV Tokyo having 47 episodes and ran between 21 of October of 1994 until 22 of December of 1995 
then we have uh, a manga called Captain Tsubasa Road to 22 uh, written again by Yoichi Takahashi uh, again published by weekly Young Champ that ran between 21 and 24 having 5 volumes and another television series uh, that was directed by Gizaburo Suga with uh, 52 episodes uh, that aired between 7 of October of 21 until 6 of October of 22 and uh, it was produced by Madhouse Studio and the group that animated was Group Tag and aired in Animax and TV Tokyo uh, and then we have uh, more three mangas uh, all uh, made by Yoishi Takahashi the first one called Captain Tsubasa Golden 23 uh, aired between 25 until May of 28 having 12 volumes uh, the another one called Captain Tsubasa Kagai Gekito Hen in Cult Show uh, uh, ran between uh, May of 29 and October of 29 all with two volumes and the third, uh, final one uh, that air uh, or uh, that was published in weekly Young Jump between February of 2010 until 2012, having six volumes, and it's called Captain Subasa Kagai Gekituen La Liga. Uh, it's about Spanish, fo uh, the football, Spanish league. So, well, and basically this follows the, a character called uh, Tsubasa Ozora and his trip, let's say on that way, by the football world since a small club in Japan, a regional club, until to the National uh, uh, Association of Football of Japan, the Championship of Japan, and then he goes to play outside Japan. He plays in the uh, um, Spain. Uh, he plays uh, in the World Championship and such. Uh, and we have a lot of interesting characters um, in this. Uh, like I say, we have Captain Tsubasa, obviously. Um, we have uh, situations related with uh, great footballers, uh, football players, um, that kind of inspired some characters or a lot of characters in this. Uh, series uh, some were uh, well they were all great uh, footballers and uh, it's very uh, interesting and also this series was one series that uh, um, I do watched when well, I will not say when I was younger, but at the beginning of my adolescence, this series also aired in Portugal, uh, and it was kind of inspiring me in kind of dreaming about becoming a football player. Um, I know that this series, in fact, inspired some of the great players of the world uh, to become football players, obviously, and even, and I'm thankful. <laughs> for that uh, to this series uh, sadly I did not have the necessary talent to become a successful uh, football player um, but nonetheless this kind of inspired me in my adolescence to play football soccer uh, uh, in a amateur level obviously until I got injured and goodbye to the field but that's it uh, 
but it was a, a very interesting series um, inspiring series uh, the characters were very interesting uh, because we not only see their careers but we see them doubt about themselves uh, and when stuff does not go in the right way they got depressed the way, uh, the, we also see how they surpass those depressive moments uh, we have the well the football moves that well in reality hardly they could be execute, executed nonetheless it's very um, interesting uh, and basically it's a travel to the world of football and to the mind of football players uh, and their doubts, uh, their victories, uh, their rivalries, uh, their friendships and such and uh, it's a very enjoyable series um, it gives us a peek into, I think honestly, that they did it very well because it gives us a peek in the mind of fo a football player uh, about their doubts, about their skill, uh, uh, if they are skilled, if they are not skilled, uh, if they got injured, how they could have or how they will surpass that. If they are good players but they kind of go to a great team and they kind of become uh, players of second or third options how they psychological how they cope with that in their minds uh, their struggle to become uh, titular players in uh, football teams and such so this is a very very uh, good and inspiring series uh, and well that's it uh, I do watch this series long ago uh, when I was young um, a couple of years I did uh, watch the remake they made uh, especially uh, that ended in the road of 22 um, I enjoyed to rewatch this in another le different level uh, but uh, uh, well, uh, that's it. Um, sorry for the short video, um, but well, nonetheless, this series for me uh, ranks 18 on my top 20 greatest anime series. Not only because the series is enjoyable, it's very interesting, uh, enter in the football world but it's also very inspiring and it has uh, and it had impact in my personal life when I was younger and kind of made me dream about becoming a football player uh, sadly that did not happen but that's life but nonetheless um, that's it so hope you enjoyed the video uh, stay well peace uh, and see you soon this is almost then um, I will have even uh, two more videos uh, that will close my top 20 uh, and then I will make two other videos one about honorable mentions in the least five to six honorable mentions and then my last video will be the series that ranks number one in my top 20 greatest anime series of all times so stay well peace See you soon.